hello welcome back to another video today we are making oha soup if this is your first time to this channel you are welcome my name is chidera please do well to subscribe like share and comment okay and to all my new subscribers thank you so much guys for subscribing you are welcome to this beautiful family to my ogs thank you guys for always coming back to support me so guys without wasting much time let's get started So guys, here are my ingredients for this oha soup. I have my oha leaf here. So this is what the oha leaf looks like. This is the fresh oha leaf. This is what the fresh oha leaf looks like. And also I have my osisa leaf. And this is fresh osisa leaf. And here is my dried fish. So guys here is my crayfish okay and for my pepper i'm using both the yellow and the red scotch bonnet pepper for my thickener i'm using a four you can use actually you can use coco yam coco yam is actually the best thickener for oha soup okay but because there is no light i don't want to go through that stress of bounding my coco yam so i'm using of four is actually a is also good in oha soup so here is my beef and guys let's start cooking so to start with i'm going to be adding in my beef into a pot in a dried clean pot so today's hug goes to simply nonny watching from abuja thank you nonny for commenting guys let me know where you are watching from so that i can give you a hug in my next video i will add in my pepper now And then I will add in my seasoning cube. I'm using the Magista. I didn't use any onions for this oha soup, but you can just break your onions and add it. I don't like using onions for my oha soup, okay? I'm just going to stir, cover, and allow this meat to cook in its own juice, okay? So guys, our meat has been cooking now. As you can see, the juice that came out from the meat, I've not added any water yet. So now I'm going to be adding in water enough for the soup I am making. Guys, if you have watched me up to now and you have not liked or subscribed, please like and subscribe, okay? And don't forget to tell me where you are watching from in the comment section so that I can give you a virtual hug in my next video. So now I'm going to cover the pot and I will allow the meat to cook. And while the meat is cooking, I will be preparing my oha leaf. And guys, our meat is cooked now. I'll be adding in my crayfish. And then I will add in my dried fish. I've already deboned this. I washed, I soaked this in a salt, in a hot salty water and allowed this to soak for about three to five minutes. And I was able to wash and debone it. Okay, and I rinsed it with ordinary water. I'll be adding my thickener too. And then I'm going to mix this very well.
I will add in palm oil now. I'm going to cover and then I will allow this to cook further. So guys, I forgot to add in my ogiri. So I'm going to be adding in the ogiri now. So this is what ogiri looks like. This is fermented locust beans. So this ogiri is going to melt in the pot. I'm just going to cover and I will let it to cook, okay? The ogiri is going to melt in the pot. Guys, if you have watched me up to now and you have not subscribed, you have not liked this video, please subscribe and like this video, okay? And don't forget to leave your comment for me in the comment section. If you have not shared, please share the video, okay? So guys, you can see our soup is coming out very nicely and looking so yummy too. But we are not done, okay? So I'm going to be testing for salt and I'll be adjusting it. I'll be adding in more seasoning cube to this. So I'm going to mix everything together now. And then I'll be adding in my leaf. So here is my oha leaf. They don't slice oha leaf. You just use your hand to break it, okay? So I'm just going to add in my oha leaf and my oziza leaf together. I love to add both together, okay, because they both they take the same cooking time to, to cook. But some people like to add their oha leaf first and then their oziza leaf later. But I love to add my because I want my oziza leaf to release its flavor because these have this this sweet flavor so i want it to release its flavor to the soup that's why i love to add both the oha leaf and the ozuza leaf together so i'm just going to mix this and i will cover this and i will allow this to cook for a few minutes and then our soup is ready guys have you liked this video have you subscribed have you shared let me know in the comment section the swallow you'll be enjoying this soup with okay for me i'll be enjoying mine with my eba okay my hot eba that's my gary so here it is our soup is ready i hope you enjoyed watching this video please do not forget to like do not forget to do all that good stuff to this channel thank you so much guys for watching and until i come your way next time please stay safe bye